Hurricanes are beautifully organized storms of destruction, part of a family of storms called tropical cyclones. Those impacting the United States typically develop between June and late November, just north of the equator, in the tropical to subtropical waters of the Pacific Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean. While some mystery surrounds the exact origins of hurricanes, tropical disturbances such as clusters of thunderstorms accelerate the process by generating a column of rising air and a zone of low pressure. Pushed by the trade winds, the disturbance becomes a spinning mass of thunder clouds, growing as warm, moist air sweeps into the low pressure void. Due to the Earth's Coriolis effect, the cloud mass always rotates counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. As wind speeds exceed 74 miles per hour, a hurricane is born. Hurricanes vary in intensity from a category one hurricane with winds between 74 and 95 miles per hour up to a category five hurricane with winds greater than 155 miles per hour. The central area of lowest pressure is called the eye of the hurricane, a calm, often cloud-free area from four to 40 miles across. Immediately surrounding the eye is the eye wall, a cylindrical band of highest winds and the location of the storm's most concentrated violence. Air at the sea surface is sucked towards the eye and thrust upwards in the eye wall after forming rain bands on its trip inwards. As it rises, moist air cools, causing water to condense as a fine mist or ice, while releasing huge amounts of heat. An average hurricane releases heat equivalent to the total electrical energy consumed annually in the United States. This liberated heat causes air to rise even further, producing more condensation and releasing still more heat. In this manner, a hurricane drives itself pulling in moisture-laden, warm air at its base, extracting heat and water, and then propelling the air outward near elevations of 50,000 feet. Huge amounts of rainfall are often a byproduct of this energy transfer, with as much as 20 inches of rain measured beneath a passing storm. Flash floods associated with this rainfall can cause extensive erosion, carrying large volumes of sediment seaward. Hurricanes are pushed by the trade winds at up to 20 miles per hour, generally traveling from their low latitude origins toward the poles. Once over cold water or land, a hurricane's warm water energy supply is cut, causing it to weaken and die. The most destructive region of a hurricane extends from the eye wall out through the right semicircle of the storm. Here, the forward motion of the hurricane adds speed to the counterclockwise spinning winds. These high winds combine with the storm's low atmospheric pressure, producing elevated sea level that moves as a lens-like bulge beneath the storm. Hurricanes on the open ocean can produce 60-foot waves and strong currents more than 200 feet below the surface. These waves and currents are capable of moving large objects and can severely scour the ocean bottom as the hurricane nears land. At landfall, the bulge in sea level becomes a life-threatening flood called a storm surge, which, depending on the topography, can extend inland many miles, reaching over 25 feet above mean sea level. Waves and currents working with the storm surge deliver a high energy assault on the coast, destroying homes, uprooting vegetation, and moving entire beaches in just hours. <laughs> 